Bill Maher tells Joy Behar to her face while she'll lose all credibility. Now, um, I have a little bit of different take on this. I beg to differ. I think she has been lost credibility. She's disgusting. Mind you, she's the same one that did brown face. Um, all she does is cape for uh, Joe Biden, afraid to criticize him. Um, she lives in her Hollywood bubble. Most um, She refused to talk about how most Americans are struggling right now under Joe Biden and his terrible policies. She continued to cape for him and pretend like everything is good and afraid to criticize him. Even me, myself, everyone knows that I'm a, um, I'm a um, Trump supporter. Um, but I criticize him on policies that I disagree with him with. I don't, you know, you, you don't agree with someone 100% of the time, you know, especially pertaining to Trump pushing the jab back in the day and of refusing to get rid of Fauci. You know, I criticized him on that. Um, but people in, in their, in their leftist bubble, like Behar refused to criticize their dear leader, Joe Biden. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news now. Um, this comes from uh, the Daily Wire's Virginia Cruda. Um, and she reports that HBO host and comedian Bill Maher told The View host Joy Behar that she would eventually lose all credibility if she refused to criticize President Joe Biden, even when she believes believed criticism is warranted, which is disgusting. That shows you have no values, you have no morals, when you're afraid to speak out with stuff you don't dis with stuff you disagree with. She has no backbone and she will continue to cape for this president and his terrible policies. He can literally run this country into the ground and burn it down and Joy Behar would smile and say that everything is great. Mar joined the co-host of the ABC Midday Talk Show for Tuesday's broadcast to celebrate the release of his new book, What This Comedian Said Will Shock You. And the topic turned to politics and the ongoing campaign between 2020 rivals Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. So let's play this clip here. Let me grab my headphones. Okay. All right, so here we go. Sure. So, but I'm I'm nervous about saying anything against Biden because I feel as you know, not that I have so much power, and, and you have some more than we, than I do, obviously. But oh, I don't know about that. Are you afraid that you might, you know, inc influence the people who are on the fence? I, I think you lose all credibility. I, I do. I mean, my bond with my audience has always been I don't pull a punch. Yeah. My bond with my audience is you're not going to like everything I say, yeah. but you know I'm saying what I really think is true. I respect it. And I respect that. I respect that. But Joy Behar, of course, does not do that. She will she will cater to the left no matter what. She will not change. She will not um um hold anyone's feet to the fire that she that um that continue to spew out the the liberal uh ideas, the policies. Again, the policies that are hurting. People are literally hurting right now, and she refused to speak on it because oh, it might it might um harm Joe Biden. So you don't speak truth. Um, Behar began the exchange with an admission saying that at times she held back her negative thoughts about Biden because she was afraid that if she said them out loud, it would cause other people to doubt him more. A disgusting work, uh, quote, so, but I'm nervous about saying anything against Biden because I feel, as you know, not that, uh, I have that much power and you have some more than I do, obviously. Oh, I don't know about that, Mar objected. Um, but, you know, we, we saw the clip, so I'm not going to rehash that. But during Tuesday's broadcast, Mar, Mar also triggered co-host Sonny Halston by using the word woke. Oh, God forbid you use that word in a way she didn't like and by saying that Israel was clearly and firmly in the right in its current conflict with the terrorist group Hamas. Um, I disagree with that. I think um, they, they have absolutely no right to kill innocent children and kill innocent women and starve people to death. Um, they don't have no right to do that. They do have a right to defend themselves. But we all know that the real Hamas leaders are not even in Gaza. They are not there. They flee. They got billions of dollars from Israel a long time ago, and they're sitting in their million-dollar mansions orchestrating this whole thing while innocent people in um, Gaza, innocent Palestinians are being killed. But that's a whole other subject. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this, about Behar, and she refused to 
criticize Joe Biden altogether? Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.